GitLab 15.8 introduced a new feature called Value Stream Dashboard. It is a dashboard with executive level summary of key metrics related to the flow of value across the organization. The dashboard helps executives and software leaders to identify bottlenecks in their software delivery workflow and optimize it. My name is Itzigan Baruch. I'm a senior technical marketing manager here at GitLab, and I'm excited to show you a demo of this new feature. So I have here a GitLab group and I opened the value stream dashboard. As you notice, this is a beta and actually it is a closed beta. It is not uh, available currently for production use. And uh, if you want, you can use this uh, feedback uh, issue to provide any feedback to the product team. So what we see here in this dashboard, so on the left column, we can see a uh, the list of uh, uh, key flow uh, metrics. The first four are the famous uh, DORA four metrics, deployment frequency, lead time for changes, time to restore service, and change failure rate. And we have also another uh, uh, performance uh, metrics like lead time, cycle time, uh, new issues, and uh, deploys. So in the right columns, you can see the values of uh, each uh, metric, and now you compare, can compare between the different uh, metrics, but also between the performance between months. So we, we have three columns, month to date, uh, the previous month, and uh, a month before. And on the right uh, column, you can see a spark line of the past six months that helps to detect uh, seasonalities. So for example, here we can see the deployment frequency we have a decrease of 15%, but uh, if we will go to the spark line, we will be able to see if it's something that happens only in one month or it's a, a trend. In this case, we see it's December. We know uh, everyone went uh, to a break due to the holidays, and we see that in January, there is a, an improvement. So in this case, as a leader, I would not take an action at this stage, at least not. I would continue to follow on this uh, metric. Now let's see another example here for the lead time. I can see that in December there was a, a decrease in the lead time and uh, this decrease uh, continues in, uh, in January. So in this case, uh, what I can do is uh, do a further investigation to go to the underlying data and I will uh, drill down. This opens for me uh, the value stream analytics where I can see a uh, how the time uh, was spent for the lead time. So I can see that the overview took two weeks and I can do another drill down. What are the stages that contributed to these two weeks? For example, the planning stage, the coding stage, the testing, uh, reviewing and staging. And from here, I can uh, do a further drill down and click on one of those, this, each of those stages and see uh, the actual work, the issues or merge request of that. And I can uh, filter that by duration. And now I can see all of uh, the relevant issues that contributed to this uh, two weeks of planning. And I can do a further drill down and open some of those issues like this one. Uh, I can get the description of the issue. Uh, see all of the events that happened in the issue, someone added labels, uh, removed, lab removed label, all of the discussions and the events that happened, which helps me to try to analyze if there is anything that I am as a, uh, as a leader can uh, help and improve. And uh, by the way, all of these stages are uh, customizable. So we know that every team or a company or a project has a different uh, stages in their uh, development workflow. So easily you can uh, add your uh, customizable uh, workflow in your uh, value stream. So by the way, each of those metrics, you can go and uh, drill down. So I will not show you all of those, but I want to show you a couple more. So I will open the deployment frequency. And uh, in the deployment frequency, you can see all of the deployments uh, for different period of times from last week to the uh, past uh, six months. And the last drill down that I will want to show you in this demo 
is the new issues. And I added a filter, label equal type features. So in this graph, I can see how many new issues created for new features for each month. So you also can compare uh, between different groups and subgroups or projects. So I will show you a customizable uh, view of a dashboard. So in this case, I added to the GitLab org, I added also other projects to the view, GitLab project, GitLab design project, GitLab docs project, and GitLab fast project. So now I have a group, a few projects that I can compare the performance and uh, see what are the areas for improvement between different teams and projects. If you want to learn more about uh, the future and the roadmap of uh, the value stream dashboard, you can go to this epic and here you can see uh, examples of new customizable widgets that the product team will add in the upcoming milestones. And those uh, uh, metrics will not only be for uh, performance, but also for vulnerabilities, for uh, security and compliance. Another interesting data that we will have to the dashboard is the correlation between business value metrics like a revenue and cost to uh, the technical uh, value metrics. So with that, I would like to conclude this demo. Hope you find uh, the new dashboard useful for you. And uh, thank you for watching.